everyone welcome back to GK today i am mujhe sana and in this video we'll cover the current affairs before we move ahead let me inform you that these questions are part of our daily 20 mcq series 2022 in the gk today's android application so if you are looking for the text version of these questions and their explanations along with the interactive quiz you may consider joining our daily 20 mcq series in the gk today android application in this course in app you get daily 20 mcqs a fortnightly quiz a monthly revision document and also category wise revision ebooks that are optimized for reading on mobile you are also able to access all archives of questions from january 2020 onwards and let me tell you one more thing if you want the hindi version of this session you can refer to our former channel named as gk today the link has been given in the description box from where you can reach to so without taking much of your time let's get started good morning everyone welcome back to gk today and today we'll be discussing most important mcqs for 4th of february 2022 starting with very first question as of 2022 which country is the top steel producer in the world so according to world steel association india's crude steel production rose by 18% to 118 million tons in the year 2021 so india is the second largest steel producing nation as it manufactured 100.3 million ton steel in 2020 and china produced 1064.7 million tons of steel in the same year so china recorded a 3% decline to 1032.8 million ton in 2021 but still it is the top steel producer in the world okay now apart from it the chinese researchers have claimed to develop an artificial intelligence nanny which can monitor and take care of embryos as they grow into foetus in the artificial womb okay so the artificial womb is a type of container where the researchers grow mouse embryos in the cubes filled with nutritious fluids and the artificial intelligence technology helps to detect the smallest signs of change in the embryos and make changes as well okay so this may help in solving the birth defects So obviously China is working a lot in the field of artificial intelligence because few days back we have also seen that the Chinese scientists have developed the world's first machine that can charge people with crime using the artificial intelligence. So as per the scientist this artificial intelligence prosecutor can charge the people with more than 97% accuracy and it works on the verbal description. And also researchers have announced that it can also identify decent against the state okay also do remember that recently china russia and iran navies have participated in the chiru 2q22 which is a joint drill so definitely you can be asked that in this particular exercise which countries participated so in the full form itself you can remember as china iran and russia okay also for the year 2022 china has taken over the brics presidency from india last year india was the president of brics but now it is china okay and brics countries are brazil russia india china and south africa south africa is the latest country to join this organization you have to tell me where does the headquarter of brics lie please answer me in the comments question number 2 indian women's hockey team won which position in the asia cup 2022 so indian women's hockey team have won the bronze medal after beating the former champions china so although savita punia missed to defend their asia cup title they returned with bronze and after defeating the malaysia india suffered a 0 to defeat against asian games champions japan and it thrashed singapore to qualify for the semi finals and then it was beaten by korea so overall japan won the asia cup title after defeating south korea okay So correct answer is third. We were at the third place. Now apart from it, ace tennis player Rafael Nadal has created history as he won a historic 21st Grand Slam title, and he has defeated Daniel Medvedev in the finals of Australian Open. And Daniel Medvedev belonged to the country Russia. So with this, Rafael Nadal became the first male tennis player to win total 21 Grand Slam titles, and he went ahead of Switzerland's. Roger Federer and Serbia's Novak Djokovic both tied at 20 each okay 
Do you remember that Australian retired tennis player Margaret Court won 24 Grand Slam women singles title? Okay. Now, a few days back, we have seen that UMDP India has announced the content creator and actor Prajakta Kohli as their first UNDP India Youth Climate Champion. So now onwards, she will be responsible for interacting with young minds to create awareness on the climate issues. Okay. Now apart from it, Indian men's hockey player P.R. Srijesh has won the World Games Athlete of the Year Award for 2022-21. And he is the second Indian player after Rani Rampal to win this award. Okay. Also do remember that in the FIH Stars Award in the month of October, Srijesh was named as Goalkeeper of the Year for 2021. Question number three, which country launched the West Song 12 mid-range ballistic missile? So North Korea has confirmed that it fired a West Song 12 mid-range ballistic missile and this is the very first time it has tested a weapon of that size since 2017. And Japan and South Korea detected the launch of the intermediate range ballistic missile that is IRBM which is the seventh weapons test done by the North Korea this month only. Okay. Now, a few days back, we have seen that North Korea has recently tested the railway borne missile. Railway borne means missile is launched from the train itself. Okay. So, it is a kind of ballistic missile. Earlier, they used to test only hypersonic missiles. And what is the basic difference between hypersonic and ballistic missiles? So, ballistic missiles are known for their strike distance, while hypersonic missiles are known for their speed. Okay. So, this missile flew. 800 kilometers and struck a target in the east coast of North Korea. Also recently, DRDO has test fired the BrahMos advanced variant, which is a sea to sea variant of the BrahMos supersonic cruise missile and it was tested from INS Vishakha Patna. Okay. And talking about BrahMos, it was developed under the joint collaboration of India and Russia and it can be launched from air, sea and land. Now, a few days back also we have seen that South Korea's first domestically produced space launch vehicle named as KSLV-2 Nuri rocket was failed due to a loose helium tank. So all the three stages of the rocket worked perfectly taking it to a height of nearly 700 kilometers and 1.5 tons payload separated successfully. But the mission failed as the third stage engine stopped burning. 46 seconds earlier than the scheduled time. Okay. So do remember that Nuri rocket belonged to the South Korea. Question number four, Geological Survey of India has approved to set up India's first geo park in which state? So GSI has approved to set up India's first geo park at Lamheta village on the banks of the Narmada river in the state of Madhya Pradesh. So this geopark is a unified area which aims to protect the geological heritage in a sustainable way. And the site is already in the UNESCO Geo Heritage Tentative List. So several dinosaur fossils had been found in the Narmada Valley in the Beda Ghat, Lamheta Ghat area of Jabalpur. Now you have to tell me in which state of India Open Rock Museum has recently been inaugurated. Now in the month of December, we have seen that Madhya Pradesh Chief Minister Shivrat Singh Chauhan has announced that Patal Pani Railway Station in Indore will be renamed as Tantia Mama Railway Station. And talking about Indore, recently it has been declared as India's cleanest city for the fifth time in a row in the Swachh Sarvekshan Award. And second was Surat, while the third was Vijaywada. And in the state terms, First was Chhattisgarh, while well, the cleanest Ganga town was Varanasi. Fine. Now also in the state of Madhya Pradesh, Shivrat Singh Chauhan government has decided to set up a tax plan for cow welfare in the state. And this was announced during a review meeting of Madhya Pradesh Gau Palan and Livestock Promotion Board. So the government is planning to impose a surcharge on the products such as liquor, and services that are provided by the local bodies to generate nearly 100 crore rupees 
to meet the expenses of the cow shelters question number 5 which institution released the death penalty in india report so death penalty in india report was released by the criminal law reforms advocacy group at the national law university delhi and it was named as project 39a so as per this report the number of prisoners on death row at the end of 2021 stood at 488 which is the highest in the last 17 years and this is an increase of nearly 21% from 2020 and also this is the highest death row population since 2004 okay now earlier we have seen that apple has retained its position as the most valuable brand in the year 2020 Two, according to the Brand Finance 2022 Global 500 report. So, which were the top five companies? Apple. Then after that, Amazon. After that, Google. Then it was followed by Microsoft and Walmart. Fine. Also talking about Henley Passport Index, India's rank was 83rd among 111. And which countries were at the top in this? Japan and Singapore. while the last position was occupied by afghanistan do you remember that oman and armenia are the latest destinations where indian passport holders can visit without obtaining a visa then chennai international airport has been ranked 8th for on time performance for the year 2021 so the top 3 positions were occupied by first is miami international airport from the country us second is fukuoka airport from japan third is haneda airport from again japan okay now also few days back we have seen that index on foundation literacy and numeracy has recently been released by economic advisory council to the prime minister and talking about the large states category west bengal has topped the chart and last was bihar and in the smaller states the top state was kerala then among the union territories lakshadweep was the best and in the northeastern category mizoram was at the top okay now you have to tell me in the good governance index 2021 which state was at the top in the northeastern category please write your answers in the comments question number 6 which ministry is the nodal agency of the fly ash management and utilization mission So the National Green Tribunal directed the constitution of a fly ash management and utilization mission in its order and the secretary of Ministry of Environment Forest and Climate Change will be the nodal agency. So it aims to coordinate and monitor the issues related to the handling and disposal of fly ash and related issues. And it is to be jointly headed by the secretaries of Ministry of Environment Forest and Climate Change. Ministry of Coal, Power, and Chief Secretaries of Uttar Pradesh and Madhya Pradesh. Okay. Now, what is ARIES? It stands for Aryabhat Research Institute for Observational Sciences, Nainital. It is an autonomous institute under the Ministry of Science and Technology, along with Indian Institute of Science, Education, and Research, Pune, has organized the Indo-US workshop. on space radiation workshop basically about radiation characterization from sun to earth moon mars and beyond okay so simply you can be asked that areas is an autonomous institute under which union ministry and so would be ministry of science and technology now apart from it northern ireland is making 50 years of bloody sunday on which the british soldiers fired upon a crowd of protesters killing total 14 people so irish prime minister also tweeted that the country is paying tribute to the families of the victims and the violence took place during a march organized by the northern ireland civil rights association fine so bloody sunday is a commemorative event marked by which country the country ireland question number 7 sergio mattarella has been elected as the president of which country for the second term So Italian president Sergio Mattarella has been elected to a second term in the recent round of elections and Mattarella was reconfirmed with a broad majority in the voting done by the lawmakers and the regional representatives. 
So he has been serving as the country's president since the year 2015. Now let's revise some of the important appointments. First of all, V.S. Patania takes over charge as the Director General of Indian Coast Guard. Then Vinay Kumar Tripathi has been appointed as new Chairman and CEO of Railway Board. After that, Mr. Baldev Prakash has been appointed as MD and CEO of Jammu Kashmir Bank. After that, Anupam Ray is to become India's new ambassador to the United Nations Conference on Disarmament. Then Mr. Vasudevan PN has been reappointed as MD and CEO of Equitas, a small finance bank. After that, Vijay Raz and Varun Sharma, they have been chosen as the brand ambassadors of Ease My Trip. Also, we have seen that Vikram Mishri has been appointed as Deputy National Security Advisor. And Radhika Chha has been appointed as CEO of Energy Efficiency Services. Okay. Now you have to tell me the pride, prejudice and punditry. This book has been written by which important personality? Please answer me in the comments. Question number 8. Hermes mission seen in the news is associated with which country? So this stands for, first of all, Heliophysics Environmental and Radiation Measurement Experiment Suit. Okay. So this is a critical part of NASA's Artemis mission. And this is a four instrument suit which is to be mounted outside NASA's moon orbiting gateway. And it has recently passed a critical mission review. So Hermes will monitor the space weather and the fluctuating conditions in the space driven by the sun. Okay. So this is a project of NASA. So this belongs to USA. Now also recently NASA's Ocean Smelting Greenland Airborne Mission has found that Greenland's glaciers that empty into the ocean are at the greater risk of rapid ice loss. And also it revealed that ice loss from the Greenland's ice sheet contributes more to the global rise of the oceans than any other single source. And if all the Greenland's ice sheets were to melt, the global sea levels would rise by about 24 feet, that is 7.4 meters. Okay. Now India's exports of electronic goods touched 1.67 billion dollars in December 2021. So it registered a growth of 33.99% from December 2020. And the top five export destinations of India in terms of electronic goods in the month of April to November 2021 were USA, UAE, China, the Netherlands and Germany. Do remember that mobile phones form a major part of India's electronic goods sector export. Okay. Also, USA was in news because of its Competus Act of 2022. And the Competus term stands for creating opportunities for manufacturing, preeminence in technology and economic strength. Question number nine, which vaccine manufacturer received approval to conduct phase three clinical trials of an intranasal booster dose? So vaccine manufacturer Bharat Biotech has received approval to conduct phase three clinical trials of an intranasal booster dose. And this booster dose will be administered on people who have received both doses of co-vaccine. And the Drug Controller General of India has approved to undertake the phase three trials recently. So the nasal vaccine stimulates the immune responses at the nose, which is the site of infection. Okay. Now researchers from IIT Jodhpur have developed an artificial intelligence based chest x-ray diagnosis technique using the x-rays that can detect the COVID-19. So this artificial intelligence based solution can be an alternative to the regular RT-PCR test that is conducted across the world. So researchers from the institute proposed a deep learning based algorithm which can differentiate between a COVID-19 affected lung and a non-COVID affected lung. Okay. Now heads of Bharat Biotech, Krishna Ella and Suchitra Ella, they have been recently awarded the Padma Bhushan. Okay. And apart from these two, Cyrus Poonawala from SII 
he has also been conferred with padma bhushan also global heads of microsoft and google that is satya nadella and sundar pichai they have also got the padma bhushan okay now you have to tell me who has recently been conferred with param vishisht seva medal please answer me in the comments now coming to last question the government of india has done conversion or switch operations with which institution so the government of india has done conversion or switch operations with the reserve bank of india for an amount of 1 lakh 19701 crore rupees so the transaction involved buying back the securities that were to be matured in financial year 2022 to 23 23 to 24 and 24 to 25 from the reserve bank and issuing the fresh securities for equivalent market value so this conversion will help to reduce the redemption pressure on the government okay now earlier we have seen that government of india has sanctioned and notified the scheme for the amalgamation of punjab and maharashtra cooperative bank limited with unity small finance bank so now all the branches of pmc bank will function as the branches of unity small finance bank now do remember that world leprosy day is observed on the last sunday of january and in 2022 world leprosy day is observed on 30th of january so there is a campaign named as unity for dignity this campaign calls for unity in honoring the dignity of people who have experienced leprosy and who goodwill ambassador for leprosy elimination launched don't forget leprosy campaign and in india anti leprosy day is observed on 30th of january which is the death anniversary of mahatma gandhi okay now let's start with today's quiz here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past 2 3 days current affairs pause the video and try to solve each of these questions and at the end of the lecture do not forget to share your scores in the comment section so please be honest and do not cheat with yourself so that's it for today i hope you have liked the session these were the important news and events from today and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs till then stay tuned thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to gk today with this minuzat sana signing off